So one of my headlights finally died. So I figured this is a good time to swap them out. I'm currently running just a standard LED bulb in the stock housing and I would not recommend it. The stock housings are designed for a standard halogen bulb, the reflectors and everything. And the LED bulbs just, the light goes everywhere. Uh, it has a really bad cutoff. It's just not, it's not very efficient light wise. Uh, I like the way that they appear from the outside. I like the color of the light, but uh, efficiency wise, they're just not, not great. So I'm gonna pop those out. These are the bulbs I was running. They have this little cover on half the light that's supposed to give you a cutoff on the beam, but it doesn't really work. Uh, the light is still pretty bad. I think I have a photo if I do, I'll insert it into this video. But uh, these are you know, standard LED bulbs. Um, they got a built-in cooling fan on these, which I believe one of them stopped working at some point and I think that's the reason that the light went out it probably got too hot so I'm gonna get rid of these okay so I've got both the lights out of the housings so these are the bulbs that I'm going to be replacing them with these are mini projectors so the, the difference in these is that they have an actual lens here to uh, accumulate or collect and project the light into a more reasonable pattern so that it's not just going everywhere reflecting everywhere they do a lot of guys run retrofits in these headlights where you have a larger collector and th those work really well but they're pretty expensive i've seen how these project and they seem to do the job pretty well and these are going to be good enough for me for off-road i have spotlights and fogs auxiliary that pretty much take care of any lighting that I need. These are different than the than these LEDs because they don't use a cooling fan. They just have this large heat sink, which I prefer because heat sinks don't go bad. They just heat sink. They're plug and play to the standard. I already tested them. I have um, resistors wired into my current setup uh, because these headlights required resistors. But these I don't know if this is an actual resistor. I couldn't find the information on the, on the website for these, but I plugged these straight into the factory harnesses without my current resistors plugged in and they seem to work fine. So I'm just gonna bypass the resistors I have in there and just run these straight. And I'll run them for a little while and make sure everything works okay before I pull out the resistors that I have in place. Since they are a projector, this needs to be you know free and clear so the stock housing since it has this I can't remember what the name of that thing is basically it, it reflects and, and bounces the light back into the housing to shoot it back out don't need don't need that anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull those out of the housings this apparently is the hardest part of this install so these are held in place by these two little legs here Pop the screws out for those first. And then I need to get this out of the housing, which is probably going to mean I need to squish it. And then it's not fitting through that hole. All right, so the technique that I figured out was I cut some relief cuts in the edges of this thing with these snips. And then I basically just squished it with these. Uh, it's not easy to get out of there. There might be a better way, but that's how I did it. Uh, I gotta do the second one, and then we'll move on to installing them. All right, so I got both of them out. The second one came out a lot easier. Uh, I figured out that if you relief cut around each of the feet, see I kind of did a angle cut around each of the feet which is easy to do because you can just hold on to the foot and snap snap and then you just squeeze the whole thing with the um, pliers like right around 
you're reaching in there and you squeeze the whole thing with the pliers like this and just crimp it and make one side small and then do the same thing on the other side. Just crimp it down. It's harder to do while it's in there, but just crimp it and squeeze it down. Then you can kind of flip the whole thing to the side like this and just grab it by the edge and you just pop it out of the hole. So these guys are two piece. So it looks like these just unscrew on the back. And that looks like it's a little tension washer. So this whole thing comes off. And then I unscrewed the bulb from its resistor or whatever this little thing is, transformer thing. And then I pulled the heat sink all the way off. And what that does is that allows me to put the bulb into the light. So this is how the clips go in. In case you pulled it out and you don't remember, let's give you a visual. It just goes underneath that screw. I have a washer in there and I'm pretty sure that's because I probably lost the original screw or something. I don't know. I don't know why I have a washer in there, but I don't think that's from the factory. And then this just clips down and underneath that little thing and that holds nice and snug. Okay, so now that's in place, which means I can put the rubber guard back on. Now this rubber guard, I, I forgot about this, but apparently I cut it um, to fit those old, to fit these in because these wouldn't fit through. So I may order new ones of these, but for now they're going back on chunk like that then the heat sink is gonna go down here so that little has this little tension clip that um, keeps this from spinning backwards off once you get it nice and tight so there we go that seems good and then we'll plug this back in so and then this has a little these are actually fairly nice I'm surprised they weren't that expensive this clip holds that and then this just plugs straight into your factory harness so I'm gonna go ahead and get them put back together back in the truck and then we'll we'll see how how they look and if I need to adjust them so a couple little things I wanted to point out while I'm putting the headlights back in one all these little posts here around the headlight, they are really badly prone to rust and corrosion. And these, you can see the, let's see if you can get a better shot of this. The little top hat uh, nuts, they just, they get really crusty. So what I like to do is every time I take the headlights on or off, I use some sort of long-term corrosion inhibitor. Lately I've been using this stuff it's called corrosion specialist corrosion inhibitor long lasting it's almost like fluid film or something like that it, it lasts a lot longer than just like a traditional WD-40 or a PB blaster or anything like that so I just did a little little squirt on each one of these before I put the bolts back on what I did was I took the I took this piece right here what I did was I took a zip tie here and it fits perfectly right under the radiator core support here in this little knot so it's nice and clean everything fits in there really really nicely and this thing's not going to be dangling around i can still get to it and unplug it real easily the connector is just just right here so it's super easy to get to if i need to take the headlight out i just thought that was cleaner than letting everything dangle down there all right let me get these put back in
that's what they look like. 